So our background image is set, but at this current state, nothing much is going to happen. We're going to see this activity, and it's not going to forward to the main activity. And this is where I'm going to introduce you to something called a thread. Now, a thread is like a mini mini activity, a mini class. It might help to think of it in that way. So you, you state you want a new thread, you give it a name, and this represents your thread. And just as in our activity, we have this up here, the onCreate method, so that when the activity starts, anything on the onCreate is executed. In a similar way, inside a thread, we have the method run. Now, why, why would you want a thread? Um, say you were creating a video game. You might want a, a, a thread or a mini program to track your main character, or to track an enemy, or to track hazards. And you'll have a thread to each of these that will create or destroy the object. But I'll get into that at some point soon. But for now, all we want to do is forward is to wait a few moments so that the user can see our splash screen graphic and then forward to the main activity. So inside of the run method, oh, we need to import the intent. So let's hit... Uh, Let's do what Android Studio asks us to do. Inside the run method, we're going to use a try, catch, and finally. What we're doing, we're going to put the activity to sleep for five seconds. So that's five times one second. And during these five seconds, the user is going to see the splash background image. Once those five seconds are over, we're going to create the explicit intent that I mentioned, and then we're going to start this intent you can see this intent is going to the wrong activity. I'm glad I spotted that. That should be going to the main activity. I cut and paste that line from the other class. So if this doesn't complete successfully, we're going to want to know why. So the catch takes the interrupted exception, and then it uses the member method to print the stack trace so that we can debug later. Once this is all over, the final action of this try catch is to finish, and that kills the app. So we've got our display splash thread, but it's not gonna do anything. We have to actually start it, and this is how you do it. So you type out the name of your thread. Ah, oh, look at that, Android Studio still auto-completing dot and these are all the member methods of a thread that you can use and we want to use start and I think that's it let's run the app did you see that I'm going to run that again let's let's exit so here's our app here's the icon let's click it there we have the splash screen I'm not going to win any prizes for my art talent. And there you go, five seconds later, it redirected to our main activity. So the Android manifest is doing its job. And our app will work as it did before. So if we click uh, this button, here's our intent. If we hit back, here's our uh, menu. Great. So we've covered how to create a splash screen, how to set a background programmatically, and an introduction to threads. Thanks for watching.